It's the start of Christmas week in real life and I've felt like a kid of Christmas with 100 million in the transfer uh, kitty and we've broke our transfer record twice. We've brought in three absolutely top quality players. I can't wait to show you them and today we try to come back from an 8-5 first leg deficit to get through to the Carabao Cup final for the second consecutive season. Hello and welcome back to some more Football Manager 2021. This is part 40 of the Sir Alex Ferguson Challenge with Aston Villa. And today we take on uh, Man United in the Carabao Cup semi-final second leg. And we take on Southampton in the Premier League looking to solidify uh, our top four credentials. So, since you were last with me, when we took on, uh, was it Liverpool? I think it was in the uh, Premier League. You can see it's been a little bit up and down. We beat Coventry City 4-0 away from home in the FA Cup before losing 8-5 to Man United at Old Trafford in the first leg of the Carabao Cup semi-final. Um, a little bit unlucky, I think, in the in this game. We just couldn't stop conceding goals and it was very apparent. But uh, Neymar scored four and, uh, you know... That's always a good game. Uh, we then drew 0-0 to Wolverhampton. A bit of a missed opportunity in that game. Neymar missed a penalty. It was a typical Neymar substandard performance, really. Uh, we then beat Watford 4-1 away from home. An excellent game there. Jamie Vardy getting two. Harry Maguire and Ollie Wat Watkins, the other scorers there. We then beat Sheffield United 4-2 with Ollie Watkins getting two. Jamie Vardy and Bertrand Traore getting the others there. And then we beat Crystal Palace 4-1 as well with Ollie Watkins scoring two. Then Jamie Vardy and uh, Jeridin Shakiri. Meaning that we are currently in 5th place in the Premier League with 47 points from 23 games. We are only 5 points off top of the table, Liverpool, um, which is fantastic at this stage of the season. We need to just keep going with it, keep pushing hard and, and see what we can pull out in these final few fixtures. Um, we did go out of the FA Cup in the 4th round uh, to Bournemouth. We lost 2-0 to them. We just really weren't at the races in that match and uh, yeah. I want to show you the transfers. Let's see who we've brought in. So, uh, on the outgoings first, so try and divert your eyes for the moment. Uh, so, Riyad Mahrez, I told you in the last episode, he's gone for 12.5 million. Uh, Tyrone Mings, he's gone for 22.5 million. Uh, Patson Daka, 40 million pound signing uh, to DL Pro, uh, I think, in, in the Chinese Super League. I think he'll suit in, in there. Uh, you know, he only played for us one time this season. I, I really fell out of favour with him last season when he just wasn't scoring goals and uh, he wanted to leave. £40 million came in. Thank you very much. Uh, so where we have distributed though that, that money, uh, you know, I showed you Gerard Ortiz in the last episode, £34 million. 21-year-old uh, Spaniard hasn't played that well for us. Uh, I must admit, early on. We've also signed Brandon Williams on a permanent deal for £7 million. Uh, His contract was expiring in the summer. Teams all around Europe were trying to swarm him and, and get him on a on a free. Uh, so I put up £7 million. I think that's, that's a massive signing for us. And he, he's done really well over his uh, year and a half on loan here. So let's keep that going. Brandon and he's now our player. Uh, we've also signed Gabriel from Arsenal. £60 million for this one. It is a lot of money, but we had it to spend. He's a top quality centre-back, uh, 26 years old. Has been in great form for Arsenal over the last three seasons, so why not take a punt and, and spend some money? Uh, we also brought in Diogo Jota uh, from Liverpool on loan. He wasn't registered in their squad, um, so brought him in on loan and, you know, I think he could be a really key signing towards the end of this season. He's got a, a lot of a lot of potential to, to do really well for us. Uh, and most recently, we've signed Dominic Calvert-Lewin for £50 million, pound, 26 years old, uh, Englishman, of course. Really, really good striker and uh, has, has consistently done well in the Premier League. And I think, you know, another striker that's capable of scoring 15, 20 goals a season in our squad is not going to do us any harm at all. So there you go. We've now spent £199 million in the transfers uh, over this season. I think we've really made some quality signings. And uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to, to seeing what we can do uh, going forward. So... 
Yeah, let's have a little look at the team for today then. We're still going with this uh, 4 2 2 2. It just uh, has, hasn't been able to, to be bettered, really, um, to be honest with you. And uh, I thought I'd, I'd done this. Um, yeah, there we go. Um, yeah, that that's pretty much the, the squad I picked, I think. Other than maybe Shakiri, I think I had on the right hand side there. Max Aaron's at right back as well. Uh, other than that, everything else is present and correct. We have got a few injuries and uh, obviously cup ties um, ineligibles going around for this match. So we're, this is the team we've gone for. Hopefully it'll do us some justice. Emiliano Martinez will start and go with Max Ahrens, Eric Bailly, Gabriel and Brandon Williams starting in defence. We've then got Grealish and Smith Rowe in the middle of the park and Shakiri and Neymar starting wide of Watkins and Vardy up top. So let's get into it then. This Semi-final, it's going to be tough. 8-5 on ag aggregate, but our home form is very, very good. Uh, we've got to beat Man United by three goals. We've just got to see how it goes, I suppose, um, and, and try try our best. That's that's always the line that I give um, when, when we're going into a match that I don't think we're going to win. But uh, we'll, we'll see. We shall see. Here's Shakiri on the ball. Good start. Getting the ball forward. Now here's Aaron's. What's Aaron's going to do? Grealish with the shot and it's Watkins and it's 1-0 after two and a half minutes and it's now 8-6 on aggregate. Ollie Watkins with the goal there and uh, well it was Grealish with the initial shot. Shakiri tried to get it in. Then it was Aaron's. Aaron's tipped it off for Grealish who went for the shot and De Gea, well it's a De Gea howler as you, as you come to expect. But 1-0. Uh, Within the first five minutes, that's a perfect start. Let's go and get another goal before half time, and let's see how we do. You know, if we get another goal before half time, I've got no reason to believe that we can't go on and win this match. Here's Neymar on the left hand side. Go on, son. Neymar sprays it out wide to Shakiri, and Shakiri cuts inside. Shakiri shoots. Shakiri should have scored. Good save from De Gea there. Um, you know, not a, not a howler once again but uh it's certainly been a good start for us here's bruno fernandez now martial fernandez martial again come on let's get the tackle in oh aaron's cuts it out aaron's has had a decent game so far yes pogba gets it forward martial makes it nine six well 17th goal of the season for martial and now we need to score three goals again you know i thought maybe Maybe when we went 1-0 up, we could potentially pull this off. Now I'm not so sure. We're going to go attacking. We're going to encourage the team. Let's get them going a little bit. Go before half time. It resets the boundaries here. Shakiri. Now Watkins. Go on. Watkins to Neymar. And Neymar scores. 23rd goal of the season for Neymar Jr. On that left-hand side. He cut in beautifully. A good little ball from Ollie Watkins as well. Shakiri. Uh, was the man that started it all off and then Watkins got it in beautiful amount of space and Neymar manages to score just before half time and give us a glimmer of hope as we go into the second half so 2-1 up 9-7 on aggregate let's say we owe Man United for what they did to us last time that awful 8-5 defeat let's go and do it come on Martinez, now he has Bai. Bai gets it forward. Watkins is there. Good header to Shakiri. Beautiful ball. He has Neymar now. Neymar, he's going to cut inside. He keeps going. And it's Jamie Vardy. And it's Shakiri. And it's Neymar. Oh, that was a wonderful chance. I really thought Jamie Vardy should have scored there. If we go 3 1 up here, you would have expected we could have done it. And the amount of away goals we've got in the bank. Surely uh, we would win if we do beat them by three goals. Uh, Bertrand Traore, he's going to come on because Shakiri, you know, as much as I think he's been involved, he could have done better. And uh, I'm going to move Neymar up top. I'm going to swap them two round and I'm going to stick James Rodriguez out on the left-hand side to try and give us a bit of creative influence. Go on, son. Let's do this. we got 25 minutes to go and get another goal or two. Come on, let's do this. Well, we've got 12 minutes. We've got to make one substitution to try and change this game. I'm not seeing many, many, uh, many things that are getting me going. Smith Rowe not had a good game. 
we'll bring Sacek on instead. Let's just get somebody that's not performing well off the pitch and get somebody that, that could do a job on the pitch here. Smith Rowe gets it in. Treore is there, and that's a, a decent save, but he was offside anyway. He was offside anyway. What a shame. Five minutes to go. I don't think it's going to happen. We're going to win on the night, but on aggregate, we are going to lose here. Sacek now, the man I brought on. Treore is at the back post. Oh, he's offside. He is offside. That is... Oh, that is so frustrating. It was a good... Yeah, it was a good cross as well from Sacek. I thought it was a mastermind of a move uh, with the substitution. And yeah, it was offside, to be fair. But Traore was waiting at the back post, ready to, to punt it in. Oh, it's going to be awful, isn't it? Traore in. Not quite. He has by now. Gets it forward to Ahrens. Ahrens to Sacek. He has by once again. Sacek to Grealish. He has uh, Traore. And now Neymar. He gives us hope. We're 3-1 up on the night. We've got two minutes now to go and get an equaliser. That would put us through on away goals. Well, quite unbelievable. Traore through. Neymar scores. Can we do it? I think it's going to be too much to ask. And there it is. Full time. It's a good victory on the night. And, well, I'm just going to give them the silent treatment. Am I? I don't know. Well, there you go. They're inspired and motivated. Whatever Craig Shakespeare did. I don't know, but 8-9 on the night. You, you've got to say that is a fabulous match. And, you, you know, it's just just unfortunate that way. Slightly on the wrong end of it. The 94th minute goal for Man United in the first leg was the one that made the difference. And, uh, well, we'll see if uh, Man United go on to win the Carabao Cup. But uh, there you go. That is that. Uh, let's have a little look um, at the rest of the season. I know we are going to play Southampton, but, um, you know, it's going to be this Europa Conference League that inevitably screws us over. Look at this running. Ho, ho, that is a tough one. And a potential title decider against Liverpool if we're still in there at the end. We'll give it a go. Uh, but it all starts with a game against Southampton, which we really should be winning. Okay, here we are for the game against Southampton then. Uh, Harry Maguire returns in defence. Loftus-Cheek and uh, Grealish are in the centre of the park. Shakiri and Yota are our wing players with Watkins and Dominic Calvert-Lewin making his debut up top. So here we go then. Ready and raring to go for this match. I'm really looking forward to, to seeing how Calvert-Lewin does. Obviously, uh, you know, Jamie Vardy has is, is very much had a, a terrific season so far. In fact, we've we've given him a, a one-year extension to his contract to take him into his 38th year um, <laughs> on this planet. Uh, and he, he's going to be, you know, right up the, the rear end of, of Dominic looking at, to be holding on to that position. So we're giving Calvert-Lewin a, a, a chance today, you know, in front of the Villa faithful to, to play his debut. If he doesn't make a great impression, then, you know, he's going to be on the bench for the foreseeable. But that's a good start. Diogo Yota with the assist there. And Ollie Watkins uh, scores his 33rd goal of the season. He's going to, uh, you know hopefully uh, score 40 goals this season which is unbelievable for Ollie Watkins and uh, you know that's an excellent finish at the start of this match and a good assist from Diogo Yota I think you know he needs that confidence in his game you know he needs to be playing regularly getting back to the the standard that uh, he will set himself for, for when he was at Wolves and um, you know you look at this look at this league table we've got a great chance this year of getting into that top four I'm, I'm Honestly, thinking about playing the youngsters in the Conference League and going all out for the title this year. Oh, it's 2-0. Watkins has scored, but I think it might be offside. It looked like it was bundling around inside the, the penalty area. Um, I'm not entirely sure. Well, apparently it has been called back for offside. I'm not entirely sure who or what uh, was offside there. Well, it was Ollie Watkins, to be fair. Yeah, Shakiri didn't know a lot about his involvement in it, let's be honest. But uh, yeah, still 1-0. Still got a chance to, to keep going. And a little bit worrying that we haven't made too many chances so far. 
in this match. It's very unlike us to to not do that, or at least create less chances than the opposition. So, you know, I might bring them in and say I'm not too happy with your performance so far in this half. Um, let's see a little bit better, because I think that's what we need. You know, I think we need to be uh, a little bit better in the second half. Um, I'm hoping to see a little bit more of Calvert-Lewin as well. Here's Williams, switches the play to Shakiri. Excellent ball, that. And here he goes. Jeradan Shakiri keeps going. Loses it, but here's Aaron's now. Aaron's gets it in. Yacht is there, but... Oh, he's still there. No, not quite. And it's away. But it's going to be a throw in, but no. Apparently, no highlight to be seen there. Alte gets it away. Now here's Redmond. Redmond on the ball. Diallo. Laid. Now here's Aaron's. Oh, not quite. Not quite. Ings. Bay gets it. Now Bay on the ball. Gets it forward to Watkins. Was he onside? That's the question. It was a good block either way. I think he was just about onside there. Here's Aaron's. Now Shakiri. Come on, let's get that cushion. Here's Williams. Now Grealish gets it forward. Loftus cheek is there. Oh, wow. Apparently that was offside. I don't know how he didn't score either way. Calvert Lewin, a bit disappointing, must admit. We're going to bring Jamie Vardy on to replace him. Uh, Shakiri's going to come off, and we're going to stick on uh, Smith Rowe in his actual favoured position on that right hand side. Uh, oh no, it's left hand side that that he likes. Go on then, we'll stick Yota on the on the other side because he can't play there. And uh, we'll play Smith Rowe as that. We'll play him as an inverted winger, and that looks good to me. Come on, sixty minutes gone here. Oh, Grealish looks like he's given everything. Apparently, we might well take him off. Here's Grealish now. Loftus cheek, Jack Grealish, Smith Rowe gets it forward to Diogo Yacht on the other side now. Here's Grealish, Loftus cheek, Aaron's, Aaron's on the ball, gets it in. Vardy's there. Oh, it could have been two 0 It could have been two 0 And you've got to ask yourself, would uh, Calvert Lewin have turned that in with his head? I think he possibly would have. Here's Demia now. Naz. Oh wow, that was a big chance for Southampton and Martinez was on the end of it. Naziri, I think that guy's name is. Alte gets it forward. Naziri's there. And now here's Vardy. Jamie Vardy. Here's Loftus Cheek. Grealish. Back to Martinez. Maguire. Loftus Cheek. Good football. Yotta. Now Watkins. Yotta again. Yotta keeps going. He's going to cut inside, is he? No, I feel like he should have held up play there a little bit and cut inside with it. Bye with the header. Redmond to Naziri now. Oh, bye. He's going to be sent off. That was a terrible, terrible challenge. And irresponsible, really. Uh, oops. What have I done here? Yeah, discard changes. Oh, dear. And now they've got a free kick. Hang on. Hang on. Right. What are we going to do here? Uh, Smith Rowe can go there. We'll take Grealish off. Um, and we'll stick Gabriel in there and swap them two round. I think that's what we want to do. But they might score from this free kick. Who's it going to be? It's going to be James Ward-Prowse with the free kick. What a save from Emiliano Martinez there. That's exactly what we needed to see. Good stuff from him. Can we hold on to this 1-0 victory? Because it's the 1-0 victories where, you know, you're under pressure. You ne don't necessarily win, uh, or should win, sorry. That you do win, and that's what's going to help you finishing the top four as opposed to not. Here's Ward-Prowse. Oh, it's off the post, and there's the rebound. But I think it's offside. Redmond... I think was in an offside position, and he was unbelievable. <laughs> that was very, very close, and you can see he was just offside in the end there, Nathan Redmond. And we've got five minutes to hold on here. 
They've got a corner. Ward Prowse into the middle. Cordy there. It's off the line from Loftus Cheek. Unbelievable. Off the line. Come on. Let's hold on to this. Full time. Yes. What a victory to hold on to in the end. It wasn't the best performance from us that you'll ever see. We got away with it. They were poor out there. But we have got the three points and that's all that matters to me. We've got a game in hand on three of the four teams above us. If we win that game in hand, we're right back in the title race, folks. This, this could be a huge season for us. The seven teams in this title race, it's going to go down to the wire and I cannot wait for you guys to see it. Uh, Bailly has been suspended, unfortunately. Calvert-Lewin didn't have the best of games we're not we're going to move on from that that's absolutely fine let's see when we're going to come back we've got three huge away games coming up and then i think well why don't we come back for the everton game and the birmingham city game in the next episode i think they're going to be two big matches um for us off the back of three huge away games where we could conceivably lose all three of them we are going to try our best to to make sure that we we don't do that um and truly ollie watkins is going to be a huge part of that 17 goals in 23 premier league games this season um let's just have a have a little look at how we feature in this i mean you look at that uh calvert lewin is up there in 11th uh vardy and watkins are, are well up there for us neymar is is in 12th position as well in the premier league so you know we've got some good Good players at, at the football club, uh, ready to, to show what they're worth. And, uh, I, yeah, I think it's going to be a really intense run-in. We've got 14 games to go. If we win 11 of them, I, I honestly think we might win the Premier League. So let's go and try and win 11 of 14 and do this thing. If you've enjoyed this episode, make sure you leave a like down below. It really does help us out. It means a lot as well. Subscribe to the channel for daily football manager content. And I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Thanks for watching and goodbye.